1974, Janet Mead shot into the charts with her international hit, The Lord's Prayer. The single was distributed to 31 countries and sold more than 2 million copies worldwide. She was the first Australian artist to have a gold record in the US and was even nominated for a Grammy Award, but lost out to Elvis Presley. I've made a lot of presentations, but this is really a kid. I think that everyone has a song to sing, really, haven't they? She pioneered the concept of the rock mass in South Australia and held them regularly in the St Francis Xavier Cathedral in Adelaide. And through it all, Sister Mead continued to teach at St Aloysius College. It was a fairly big strain because uh, all the time there are interviews and uh, radio talkbacks and TV uh, people coming and uh, film people coming in. Despite the fame and fortune, Sister Mead shunned the spotlight and donated all her royalties to charity. She turned down offers to tour the US. She spoke out against war, against welfare cuts and raised money to support the sacked Patrick Stevedore's workers in a waterfront dispute in 1998. It's a decision that each of us has to make to strive for truth in what's happening in our world and to strive for compassion so that our country might return to the way we were when we really said this was a country for a fair go. Sister Mead was named the South Australian of the Year in 2004 for decades of caring for the homeless. Leah McLennan, ABC News, Adelaide.